Hello friends, this is Rahul Magad here as the Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP and we are uh, continuing with our earlier videos about private placement program but this time we are going to be discussed about how to hedge it up and this time we are introducing the fresh I am not saying the fresh doesn't mean that it has introduced just now but this is a very fresh for Indian market and Indian regulatory which is Reserve Bank of India, SEBI and others do not approve such kind of credit derivatives so if you wanted to take such kind of credit derivatives, you need to go outside India, which is Singapore, Malaysia, Dubai and others. In this we are going to be discuss how the platform traders actually hedge it. Because wherever you invest it, that is a separate fact, fact that if I am getting a income, if I am getting a funding of 100 million euro, in this 100 million euro, if I leverage it up by 10 times, which is I would make it a 1 billion euro, a 5 peso opportunity in a 1 billion euro will make up 15% per week which is roughly 60% per month and which is roughly 700% per year. In books it has been mentioned that the arbitrage opportunities are limited but practically speaking and you know I worked as a corporate treasurer, practically speaking the arbitrage opportunities are many. It is up to a trader how he is taking, how he is taking, how he is taking it up and how he is executing it. But the point is wherever you are investing which will end up using 15% uh, you know the, the, the return even in this he has to make sure that the particular portfolio manager has to make sure that he would be able to invest money. Uh, he would be able to save you he would be able to make sure that the money is safe. Now in this what are we doing we are considering the same example of what we had earlier of the Goldman Sachs, uh, Goldman Sachs example. In this we have Goldman Sachs PPP desk, private placement programs desk, who is directly connecting with the investors. In this you have two kind of people, trading platform managers and platform managers. We are not mentioning here, but we have two kind of members, trading platform managers and platform managers. In this what would happen, and an investor will invest 100 billion dollars, cumulatively, which covers qualified institutional buyers, qualified institutional investors, foreign institutional investors, banks, high net worth individuals and we are assuming that the lock-in period is for two years because every private placement program would surely have a lock-in period without lock-in period this will never work that is as simple as that now in this suppose we are here considering an example of our equities in which the PPP desk is taking an exposure in the equities because they think that this is the rising sector and this is what it is happening also. Today Apple is having 250 billion dollar of cash which they are giving in the public domain also which is I think greater than the cash with Amazon, Alibaba, Tesla and Google together they are having including Yahoo also. But the valuation of Apple is 800 billion dollar and they are reaching to 1 trillion dollar. People like Goldman Sachs, Credit Suisse, number of times explained that if the tech rally will continue, which would continue, because now we are living in a world of disruption, when a lot of technology is coming up, when you have, when you have, uh, you know, drone also, who would have thought that one day we could have drone, who would transport a pizza in from one place in the US to another place in the US, which is a job actually of, of, a, of a courier boy or an office boy. But today Amazon is giving the material from one place to another or the courier from one place to another using a drone which is happening. So the technological world will continue and if you carefully see that all the leading investors are leading people especially PPP they are investing heavily in technological sector and this could be the one of the reasons why Apple valuation is about 800 billion dollar and it is all set to touch 1 trillion dollars. Now in this we are taking the uh, we are taking the following investment uh, which is done whereby 100 million each. I will take a small break here and I will introduce you what do you mean by first till default swaps. I earlier told you that CDS is a first generation instrument which was launched in US in 1970s and since then we are taking up a CDS. It's an unfortunate fact that there are many countries in this globe who still not regularized CDS which is a plain vanilla product. But there is an issue with CDS whether it is a single name CDS or it's a multi name CDS. But CDS is talking about one reference obligation, one reference obligation and one deliverable, one deliverable obligation. One is deliverable obligation, 
how you how the delivery is going to be happened at the time of the default would put that happen in the cash would it happen in the security which is similar of the status or it would happen in both as far as the reference or re reference obligation the issue will further come would the reference be a stock it could be an equity or it would be a cash these are the issues which is still there the biggest issue is credit default swaps talked about talked about a single reference while in a first trade first to default swap you can have five you can have five cds you can have five references which you can on which you can take the cds at the same time if you don't take it you need to take five different cds the cost would be more like take a stop here you are going to you are going in a mall what do you do you take a cart and in this cart you just pick up you just put it everything you go to the counter they will scan the barcode they will accept your credit or debit card or maybe the paytm or, or any 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 other thing and then you will just pay the money and you join you take the ownership of that goods but what if you don't have a cart everything you need to carry it up or you need to put in put in your pockets or you need to carry it up then it would be an issue how long how, how much you can carry because it's going to be a lot of weight first till default swap is just like a cart wherein you have different cds but rather than using a cds i'm using a little technical word we have different reference obligations example here i have seven reference obligations credit suisse which is cs microsoft google apple nbd which is which is national bank of dubai 5 years medium term notes 15 years long term notes but the point is always remember the golden rule of first till default swap the golden rule is that first till default swap the value of all the references should be the same here i have deliberately keeping it 100 million 100 million 100 million so if i would say that this is 50 million this is 80 million this is 90 million or this is 30 million this is not going to work in a first till default swap which is acts like a cart in which you are taking a multi cds but under one platform under one shop that is 100 million each and here i have kept 200 million which means 100 million each now what is first till default swap you have different references in this references you have to give the order of importance the order of importance i have given here i have and the order of importance means that depends upon the rating or your perception there is no hard and fast rule as far as the ftd literature is concerned that this should be the order of importance like security should be the order of importance equity should be the last or the corporate debt should be the last there is no hard and fast rule in that but one hard and fast rule which is there is that if you understand the order of importance then it is relatively easy for that bank because here we are talking about Goldman Sachs to hedge it up. Goldman Sachs common sense suggests that the order of importance would be 15 years long term notes, 5 years medium term notes, Credit Suisse, National Bank of Dubai, Microsoft, Google and Apple. Because if you look at the ratings right, of these companies, then nobody can say that Apple will default. The company who have $250 billion of free cash in the books. And they can their cash is some of the cash of the many American companies. And technologically speaking, the valuation of eight hundred billion dollars and moving towards a one trillion dollar valuation. So only an idiot would be there who will place Apple at number one when it comes to order of importance. The order of importance, the best rating would come last, and the worst rating would come first. And this first rating would be fifteen years long term note, five years MTN. Of course. There would be several people who will come to me. Uh, you can have a counter argument also that if you have the worst rating, then why you are investing? The question is after 2008, a lot of times it has happened that when the ratings given up by the credit rating, credit rating agencies, they stand nowhere during the financial crisis. And in India also, using MTech Auto and there are uh, recently the, our capital market regulator, which is Security and Exchange Board of India, they have criticized the credit rating for uh, credit rating agencies of the rating which they have given but during the financial crisis these ratings stands nowhere or were withheld nowhere now in this order of importance the best rating would come down 
Of course, you further can have a counter counter argument with me, and the counter argument would be, if you have five portfolio managers, then the order of importance would be different. Of course, that it should be. If I would be the portfolio managers, this is my order of importance. If somebody else would be a portfolio manager, maybe you, you are watching, your order of importance might be different. So that we can always argue, right? But this order of importance is mandatory. Without giving order of importance, even taking a first till default swap, it is like a suicide. As simple as that. Now what is first till default after that? You need to give three things. Now they are the protection buyer. Actually, let me write, they are first till default buyer. And somebody else would be a seller. In this, the buyer should understand three things. Default correlation, which is 40%, and these are all hypothetical numbers. A set correlation, which is 30%. Probability of default, 50%. Exposure is default, 100 million. You must be surprising what are these jargon words. Default correlation 40% means if 15 year long term notes will default, then there is a 40% probability that this will default. And if this will default, then Credit Suisse will default. If Credit Suisse will default, then National Bank of Dubai will default. Microsoft will default. Google will default. Apple will default. Technically speaking, default correlation would never be zero. Theoretically speaking, in the books, you could have default correlation zero, but practically speaking, default correlation will never be zero. This is absolutely a theoretical case. There are many situations in the first till default swap, although in India, this is not, this is not yet regularized, but outside, which is predominantly Singapore and others, there are many cases where default correlation went up greater than 40%, greater than 80% also. It means if I default, it means the, the fire will reach till Apple also. That is a very important thing a buyer should understand before taking a position in the FTD. And henceforth, order, order of importance would be very, 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 very important thing. Another thing which is asset correlation, how assets are linking with each other. 15 year long term note is a part of securities market. Five year medium term notes is a discounted instrument. And everybody understand that uh, private placement program are heavily dependent upon the discounting instrument and we and maybe tomorrow we are going to create up a video whereby we will introduce you that how the discounted instruments in in the PPP will play a role so there are multiple videos which are on the way now and hopefully by end of June we will cross 400 videos and uh, this way we would be the second channel on the YouTube who would have 400 videos official technical 400 videos and hopefully by this year we would cross 600 videos. Third is the probability of default. Many people tend to confuse each other that if default correlation is there, then what is probability of default? Default correlation is different. Default correlation means if it will default, what is the probability that Apple will also default? This is 40%. Probability of default is what is the probability that this will default? So both are different things. Default correlation means if if long term notes will default, what is the probability that Apple will also default? While probability of default means what is the probability that 15 years long term notes will default? And the best is exposure at default. Exposure and default is 100 million dollar. And please check here. Everything is 100 million dollar. 100 million. 100 million, 100 million, 100 million, 100 million. This is 200 million, which is 100 million into 2, which is 200 million. Here comes the beautiful principle of first till default. Since you have given the order of importance, if anyone, if in this order of importance, anyone will default, the swap will cancel immediately. So assuming two, you have taken a swap for five years, and of course you are paying a premium, which is liable plus some basis point. And after two years, long term notes will default swap will get cancelled immediately since swaps will get cancelled so this swap structure will get cancelled the payment of the premium will stop and the reference obligation would be 15 years long term note that would be payable to the protection buyer rest this will still get unprotected because they are not defaulted 
if you wanted to protect that, you need to take up n to d, which is n to default. When f even till the end. So which is n to default means if this will default, the reference obligation will, will originate here. This will still be safe. When this will default, these four will save. When this will default, these four will save. So on and so forth. In this, the default correlation and asset correlation, the probability of default and exposure of defaults will completely differ and would be higher than one, one it is. Before moving further, we should also appreciate that the cost of taking a CDS would be higher than the cost of taking a FTD. Many of the people will disregard that. And many of the people will tend to tell to think that how can it possible that uh, uh, you know a CDS would be costing higher than the higher than the FTD. The reason is very simple. In case of an FTD, first till default, it is very easy to make up a basket. But in case of uh, CDS, it is a one-to-one -one transaction. Of course, the payment there is a cumulative hedging also, which is done up by the traders. Here they are taking a here they have an exposure of roughly 200, 3, 4, 5, which is 700 million dollars. In this 700 million dollars, the position which they are taking only of 100 million dollars. But there is a delta hedging, which is a delta is percentage change in option to the percentage change in the underlying. The delta hedging has to be done, delta hedging has to be done on the cumulative delta. And here is the cumulative delta, which is 0.65. In this cumulative delta, we are taking 0.65 means 65%, which is 65% of 700 million, which is 450 million dollars. So after taking this position, the platform traders of Goldman Sachs will take up a subsequent position every day on this 450 million dollars. So today the delta is 0.65, maybe tomorrow the delta stands at 0.85, then they need to add up the position. Maybe another time the delta would reduce to 0.5, they need to further decrease the position. Of course, using that you have various options. You can do it via forward contracts, option contracts, swaps, interest rate swaps, and there are a lot of kind of instruments which you can dealt with. Or you can offset one CDS with another CDS. Alternatively, it will get a little technical, but just a small introduction. If you don't do not want it to go with the with the first to default, you can create first to default swaps, or you can create first till default CLN, which is credit link notes, first to default collectorized debt obligation, first till default collectorized mortgage obligation, and they together in our foreign exchange language are known as correlation products. And correlation products will play a wonderful role in PPP, and hopefully soon we will have a video on that as well. This is an overall understanding of the first till default swap, which we would like to give you. Of course, in the countries like India, the first till default swaps are, are uh, not very uh, regularized. In fact, they are not here in India. In India, the CDS is also not there. But uh, outside India, predominantly in Singapore, these correlation products are there. They are playing a very important role and we need to appreciate that. PPP cannot have a successful platform unless otherwise we have dispersion trading, correlation trading, correlation uh, correlation products, high-end trade derivatives like uh, FTD swaps, NTD, NTD swaps and many and of course over the period we will continue with a lot of products. We will discuss that. And don't forget we are setting up our base in Singapore. Next year by June you would have everything at our own desk. Our fixed income platform is in place. It's not going to take much time. So all set. It's just a matter of time. By the time we are not offering you. In case you have any question, my mobile number is always there, which is 9899242978. My Skype ID is Rahul5327. Rahul5327. My email ID is rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in. While my mobile, while our website is www.treasuryconsulting.in. We would like to thank you very much and we are very pleased that as a YouTube channel we are moving towards 400 technical videos and hopefully soon we will cross 500 and 600 technical videos by end of this year and will make a second largest YouTube channel which we already and extend ourselves to more than 1000 videos by December 2018. Thank you and have a wonderful time.